Again, this lectures cover Python user-defined functions. Our main objective is to develop a user-defined functions using Python language. So our open problem here is we want to find a sum of integers from one to 10, and also from 20 to 37, also from 35 to 49. Now without a user-defined functions, it means we have to write a separate code for each. So first we write our code using the for loop to find the sum of numbers from one to 10 and we print it. And next we use the same code for loop again, but this time we are finding the sum of numbers from 20 to 37. Then we have to repeat the same code again to find the sum of numbers from 35 to 49. Now this is the advantage of using Python. Instead of writing the three codes, we can write only one user-defined function, and we are going to call the function three times. So this will be the solution, and this is our main goal in these lectures. So the syntax for writing a user-defined function in Python is to start with the keyword DEF, then the function name, then the parameters of the function. So the function name also have to follow the same rules for naming variables. So the names can be lowercase or uppercase characters or digits and also underscore, no space, no any other symbols. And the name cannot start with a digit. So it's the same rules as a variables. So we will call this the function header. The function header consists of the keyword DEF, the function name, and the parameters. The parameters is what the function is going to use to solve the problem or to complete uh, to uh, complete the task. So I1 and I2 here will be the data that the function need to use. Sometimes we may have a function uh, that doesn't need any data. So in this case, we still have to have open and close parentheses. For example, I can write a function to print uh, numbers. So in this case, I don't need any variables or any data just to print some. So again, that's the function header. Then we have the function body. The function body is where we have our code. Uh, so what we have here now is that we are writing a function, a user-defined function to find a sum of numbers. But this time the numbers will be from I1 to I2. We wrote the same code for i in range i1 to i2 plus 1. Now, the reason why we make it i2 plus 1, because we know if I'm looking for sum of numbers from 1 to 10, I have to write 1 to 11, because in the range, it starts 1 below. So that's why we are i2 I plus 1. Then we had the values. So result equal to result plus i, then we'll return the result. So this function is expecting returning value. Now, this is the advantage of using Python. Now we can call this function as many times as we want. From our previous code, we were looking for the sum of numbers from one to 10, 20 to 37, 35 to 49. But this time we wrote a user-defined function only once, and we call the function three times this time using different parameters, the values. So normally when we write a user-defined function in the main function, that's where we are going to call our function because normally execution of this program takes place from the main function. Also the main function, we have to call it, which is our last section here. We have the main function calling the main function or to invoke it. So that's the whole concept of, again, a user-defined function in Python language. So again, we have the function header, the keyword def, the function name, and also the formal parameters, then the function body. Now let's see one example here. So here we are going to write a program and our program here is going to ask the user to enter a distance in kilometers. 
then we are going to convert that distance to miles. And the question also gives us the formula. So miles equal to kilometers times 0 0.6214. So first we declare, again here, we can write this program by just having our input. We use our input function to get the input in kilometers. Then we convert the kilometers to miles. Then we print our result: input, process, and output. But again, here we want to use the Python user defined function. So here we create a function name show miles. Show miles will take one parameter that will be the distance in kilometers. And then we are going to print the result. So first, the function show miles takes a parameter kilometers. Then we calculate the distance in miles, which will be kilometers times kilometers to miles. Kilometers to miles was given to us to be 0 0.6214. So after we convert the distance from kilometers to miles, we print our results. So now we are going to call this function inside the main function. So in the main function here, we declare variable my kilometers. This is where the user is going to enter the actual distance in kilometers. So we use the input function to enter the distance in kilometers. We change it to float. Then we call again the show miles function. And the show mass function is going to calculate the distance in miles, which will be kilometers times 0.6214. Then it's going to print it. So all we need to do is to call the function, and the function will perform its work here. Calculate the distance in miles, then print it. So the main goal of this lecture again is how to the synthesis or how to use the Python uh, user defined function. So we can see that here. We have our main function. This is where the execution will take place at. And this is our user-defined function we wrote. What use this user-defined function does is that it and the parameter is going to take a distance in kilometers, then it will convert it to miles, then it will print the, the distance in miles for us. So we ask the user to enter the distance in kilometers, then we call the show miles, then the parameter is the value that the user enter into the variable. And the show mass will calculate the distance in mass, then print it for us. So let's run this program and see. So here is asking us to enter the distance in kilometers. I'm going to enter 490 and I'll press enter. So here we can see the conversion of 490 kilometers to miles is 304.49 miles which is, we can see the print statement in show mass function, the conversion of whatever value we enter. In this case, we enter 490. So 490 in two decimal places, uh, 0.2F. And we have a string here in kilo, 490 kilometers to miles is, this is where our result in miles and also in two decimal places. So 304.49 miles. So that will be the conclusion of this lecture. Again, the main goal of this lecture is, is to get the concept of the synthesis in writing user-defined function in Python and also how we call the function, the main function, and how do we call the main function also. So again, see you in the next class. Thank you.